How many grams of sucrose C12 H22O11 must be added to 559 grams of water to give a solution with vapor pressure of 0 0.209 <coughs> millimeters of mercury less than that of pure water at 20 degrees Celsius. The vapor pressure of water at 20 degrees Celsius is 17.5 millimeters of mercury. So the first thing we need to do to find the grams of sucrose that we need to add is manipulate the mole fraction equation. The thing that we're going to need first off is going to be the moles of sucrose because since we have the moles of sucrose we can convert that into grams of sucrose and that will give us our answer of how many grams we need to add. There are going to be two equations that we need to manipulate, the first being the mole fraction equation. <laughs> <clears throat> now we're going to need the moles of sucrose, the moles of water, and the mole fraction of sucrose. So in order to get the moles of sucrose, we need the, the moles of water and the mole fraction. Now we can get the mole fraction manipulating, first and foremost we can get the mole fraction by manipulating the pressure equation. We can manipulate this equation to get the mole fraction itself and the manipulation and the final equation will be x sucrose is equal to delta P over the pure pressure of water and these are both given here the delta P is going to be 0 0.209 millimeters of mercury while the pure pressure of water is going to be 17.5 and this will give us our mole fraction which is equal to 0 0.0109 so now we have our mole fraction and now we just need our moles of water <laughs> which is simple enough to get moles of water. Now we're given 559 grams of water and the molar mass of water is 18.02 moles per gram and that'll end up giving us 31 moles of water. Now all it's left to do is manipulate the mole fraction equation to give us our moles of sucrose. So, the manipulated equation will look like this. It's going to be the mole fraction times moles of water over 1 minus mole fraction of sucrose. <coughs> and we found all these. So we just plug in now. <clears throat> the mole fraction of sucrose will be 0 0.0119 times the moles of water, which is 31, over 1 minus 0 0.0119. And that'll give us 0.373 moles of sucrose. 
Now that we have our moles of sucrose, we can convert that to the mass of sucrose that we need to finally give us the pressure of 17.5 plus 2.09 or 17.5 minus 2.09 that will give us the amount of sucrose we need to add to change the pressure now the mass of sucrose that we need will be given by this equation It's not really an equation, you're kind of just multiplying 300.373 moles sucrose times the gram sucrose and that will give you a viable mass of 128 grams of sucrose. Now, this is how much sucrose you need to add to 559 grams of water to give a solution with a vapor pressure of 0 0.209 millimeters of mercury less than that of pure water at 20 degrees Celsius. That's your answer.